Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Terraria. It's me, Caper Cafe. And as you can see in my house, I have a new level. And I have new chests, a drunk drawer, plants and stuff, metals, ores, and gems. And I'm equipped with new and improved armor. So yes, welcome back. This isn't a YouTube guide on how to play Terraria as a noob. This is YouTube guiding a noob on how to play Terraria. Oh no. On today's noob to-do list, as I notice that an evil presence is watching me, uh, notification down below, that sounds pretty scary. I'm gonna go get some loot boxes. We're gonna go back to the jungle and get some moon glow in order to make some potions. I think I'll add some more housing into the forest biome. Maybe I'll buy some pylons between the forest and the desert. And I'm going to try to figure out and hopefully take on the Eye of Cthulhu. So thank you again for all of your tips. Um, oh my. I'd like to show you uh, some of the things I built. Actually starting here perhaps where we have. It's the weapons hall. It's the it's the, the place where I showcase um, you know past armor. Um, uh, we have here the old cactus axe and the yo-yo, which, you know, maybe I'll eventually upgrade. Some statues that I've made and found by accident. But yeah, I thought I'd, I'd make a little formal showcase. I built a little, you know, sort of <laughs> awning here to uh, try and try and um, create like a little, a little root. Oh, the Eye of Cthulhu is awoken. Uh, what now? <laughs> this, is, this was not part of the plan. Oh my goodness. Oh geez. Um, Abigail? <laughs> Abigail, please help. Uh, I've done 100 damage? <laughs> okay. Oh, ouch. Ooh, I don't want to be down below there. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> okay. Well, so far so good. I mean, my, my health is not too bad. Oh, the eye's health is... Not going down quite nearly as much as I wanted. But hey, we're doing it. This was not part of the check. This was not the order that we were oh, supposed to do this. Here, you know what? Let's get some burning on. How about that? We'll do it this way instead. Our health is okay. This might take a while. Um... Oh, I'm out of I'm out of jester arrows and good arrows. That's right, it's because I tried to. Okay, how much damage is this? Is this actually worth my time? I'm not so sure. Maybe we'll just tank some hits. How dare the Eye of Cthulhu not respect my list? I wonder. Could I perhaps? <laughs> Could I use my grappling hook to it? No, I can't. Okay, that's probably a good thing. Well, this was a shame. I was going to save this uh, fight for the end of the video. But instead, we're doing it now. Am I actually only doing one damage? Whoa, Jesus. What is it doing now? <sighs> What's that thing? Those are weird. Yeah, I think the, the cornea has separated. You got to see a doctor about that. Ouch. Ugh, maybe the Bat-Bat isn't the best choice for this because it's so slow. Maybe the yo-yo would have been better. All right, let's switch back to arrows, shall we? Ouch. Ouch, ouch. Oh, man. I think the arrow was the way to go. I'm doing 12 damage. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I need to heal as well. That may have just negated itself. 351 health left. I can't heal again. Not for another 30 seconds. Only one health left. Oh, thank you, Abigail. <laughs> oh my goodness. I defeated the Eye of Cthulhu within a few minutes of the video. This this was this was unexpected. I I cannot believe it. Can I consume this life potion? I can't. Oh my. I should have I should have put on the archery potion. I 
Oh, you, it, it came out of nowhere. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, I get all my hearts back. I get some ores. I get some gold. What What do we have here? I got a fallen star out of it. Jeez, we did it though. Day 21. Oh, and yes, by the way, I skipped. Well, I didn't skip. I played. I played some days. I um, played from day 18 through to day 21. And here we are, day 21. We've defeated the Eye of Cthulhu. In fact, actually, it's day 22. Well, Kevin, I thought I was going to have to upgrade, or sorry, summon the Eye of Cthulhu with my lenses, but that wasn't necessary. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I'm getting a set bonus. I don't know. I think just the copper bow was just a better choice overall. So let's check out what we picked up in our success. Looks like we have some cr crimtain, crimtain ore. And we got some gold. That seems to be it. So let's see. We picked up 31 of it, though. That's pretty good. Kevin, what do we do with this? Okay, so with this, we can summon the deer thing. We can make a brick. And we can make a bar, which I guess will then be needed elsewhere. When I was looking up how to make the summon for the Isle of Cthulhu, I noticed that I needed to find the Crimson Altar, which I wasn't sure where that would be. I assumed that it must be over here, perhaps, where the Crimson area is, which I did a tiny little bit of exploring on my own. As you can see, I didn't get very far. I got too scared, but I guess we'll figure that out for another day. So after having uh, chopped down some trees and picked up some trees, uh, a few other things to show off. Uh, I planted here in the house blink root. Now, I don't know if just planting blink root here in this pot is good enough, but I'm hoping it grows inside here so that I can start making in potions, because as I saw, potions use blink root a lot. And yes, as you can see here, I have the three chests. Uh, I can certainly make more chests, but I do know of chests that are around the map. So let's just take a quick look at the map. And as you can see here, we have the map of our rail exploration. There are some chests that I wasn't able to get at. And on the suggestions of the YouTube comment section, I went deeper. I went below a thousand feet and I was able to find quite a lot of silver. Not enough silver to make the full set of silver armor, but certainly enough lead to make the full lead set of armor. So we're just going to go around the map and try and find pots and chests and I'll show you what I get. But before we take off, I also have started loadout. So as you can see here, I now have my full lead loadout with bonus defense. I have my arcane copper watch. My quick compass, which gives me extra movement speed. I also found a rash aglet, which I am wearing for increased melee speed, although I'm not really sure if it really helped with the bat bat. And the classic cloud in a bottle. Loadout 2 is my mining set, which is still pretty basic. You know, I, I did actually die on day 20, so ding, we can put that death up. I have another copper watch, the warding compass that I picked up. The depth meter, which I think is more helpful down in the mines, uh, and reuse the wild shackle. One question I did have for the YouTube comment section is regarding bottles. I found a lot of bottles and chests, and I'm sure I'm going to come across even more bottles. And recipes like the splunking potion required bottled water, but I have not been able to figure out how to get water into these bottles. If I come over here to a place that I know has water, it just doesn't do anything. In fact, let's just go here. It, it, I don't know what button to push. I'm right clicking. I'm left clicking. I jump in. The, 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 the bottle does not fill with water. So YouTube, if you could help me out with that one, that would be great. All right. So here we are in our first pot. We picked up some bombs. Pot number two. We picked up, I think it was a lesser healing potion, which is always handy. Pot number three, we have some silver and copper. And now we're going to go down. Wait, that's some blink root. That could be good. 
along with some blink root seed. All right. Okay. Three pots down here. Glow stick, ropes. Looks pretty good. And the final pot in this area is down in this uh, un untouched cavern. So maybe we can get at it at a bit of a different way, perhaps from the top. Switch loadouts to my mining loadout. And another question I had for YouTube as I safely mine my way down to this uh, air pocket without leaking all the water into it is how do I unsummon Abigail? Because certainly Abigail is very useful at keeping me safe, but I don't necessarily want her around all the time. So what button do I push just to get rid of her? And here we are. Uh, another pot. We got a lesser healing potion. All right. Now, I, I thought I'd be able to place um, a wall background here in order to put a rope, but I guess I can't do that. So I guess we'll just place a simple platform and hang some rope from it. Oh, <laughs> I know that the grappling hook can cancel out a fall, but it's going to take some practice, I think. So we take a look at the map. I think the next area that we're going to go for loot boxes will be on the rail cart off to the east. So let's get going. And here we are. Here we are. We've made it. So let's see if we can loot what's in this box quickly, which I knew I had to walk away from. Oh, shoot. Not a salamander. <laughs> I had to walk away from these water walking boots, which I think are going to be quite amazing. So thankfully, we can loot all of that, take the chest and go to the next chest. And the next chest is at the end of the rail cart. All the way up in this hidden cavern. Oh, I've been poisoned with blindness. Okay, so this chest is up over here. This, all right, there we go. Let's just add some light here, make things easier. And unfortunately, I think I, in this case, I am going to have to mine. Although I suppose I could try to mine around it, possibly. All right, it's a bit awkward. Don't know if it's entirely needed or necessary, but we've done it. We have made our way across we made our way across and so that means we don't have to worry about flooding in um, the caverns we have a worm coming all right so let's see what's down here in this chest oh my so we have a sand castle bucket it places sand castles that sounds fun and some more rope a, a hev heavy breathing reed Increases breathe time, allows to breathe in water. Oh my goodness. This sounds all really amazing for what I'm currently doing, which is mining down here in water. In fact, actually, I think I might even equip these water. Wa oh, I can't. Is this equipment? Oh, okay. They're accessories. I see. Okay. So now. Wait, I'm not walking on water. Oh, now I am. <laughs> okay, but I can descend, I imagine, <gasps> just like a platform. Isn't that cool? All right, let's just take all that. Let's take this. Take some sapphire. Oh, we got a green slime down here. I am kind of interested to see what's down this cavern. What is this? Okay, well, we have some more. We have a pot. Now, what is this thing? Nothing, apparently. Oh, and another chest. Uh, pot, I mean. Oh, uh, I don't like the look of this. I'm not, I don't think I'll uh, explore this cobweb today. Thank you very much. Maybe some other time. So the next pots that we're going to go explore are where the underground house were was. And where I, I know at least there's one dart trap, so let's try to avoid that. And even at the very bottom here of the stilt house, there's a pot. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I can breathe underwater if I hold this thing. That's incredible. <gasps> Look at this. And I was wondering how my gem core tree, gem corn tree was going to go. And it's, it's, it's going pretty good here. How do I chop it down? Hmm, I don't know how to 
chop that tree down. Uh, I'll have to figure that out later. There is a pot up there. Oh, geez. Okay, well, we'll try to get this pot here. Which gave us some rope. Oh my, okay, so we got... Ah, uh, there's the dart trap that kept getting me. Aha. Dart trap, no more. Oh, and we have a fairy who wants to show us something. Just two seconds, fairy. Yes. Where should I go? What are you... What are you doing? Do I click you? Pink fairy. Hold on. Um, I don't know what to do with you, fairy. Oh, I... Oh, well. I can't figure you out. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh, that was really close. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't die. <laughs> that was a real misclick. I just was not sure what I was doing. Okay, I think there's a pot over here. This I might need to just let let go. Oh. oh. Mm. Oh, there were several pots in here. Well, that's great. And we picked up a lot of stuff. That's perfect. And of course, walking on water, everything is so much easier. All right, so the next, pla the next place that we're going to go will be underneath the house here. We'll equip our breathing... Well, actually, let's um, first get these slimes. Then we'll equip our breathing uh, mask and go underwater, where there is a pot. Oh my god! Ooh, that was not good! <laughs> I totally just fell down. The elevator is sometimes pretty dangerous. I would have to we'll have to reset the clock of days since last fatality. There are two pots left in the bottom area here, so let's just quickly go grab those. Shall we? And let's actually summon Abigail to help. Oh yeah. So the other thing I noticed as I got down to about under a thousand uh, feet is um the the background changed into something crazy and blue. I didn't quite know what it was all about, but it looked wild. Yeah, so this looks pretty scary. We didn't go too far with it. But the final pot is right below here. All right, so that's it in terms of pots. And again, I think there's there's areas that we can explore further down, but I have not I have not taken the liberty to do so. I did so previously uh, when I was playing alone, and uh, yeah, it is crazy down here. In fact, what is this thing? A teal mushroom. Okay. Actually, so we've pretty much done what we wanted to do. I think the next thing that we're going to do... Oh, another fairy. Oh, okay. Where do you want me to go? This way. Uh, hold on a second. Just wait, fairy. Yeah, okay. Here? Through here, okay. Um, alright, you know what? I have some bombs for that. Just, just stay put, fairy. Hold on. Oh my, I have a ton of bombs. Okay. <gasps> okay, the fairy has disappeared, but the fairy has pointed me to a heart crystal. So now I just need to get it. Where is this heart crystal again? Ah, there it is. Okay, great. Along with some other pots. Oh my, I'm so full on stuff. Eat this. We now have 220 health. Wow. And a lot more that we can mine down here later. But yes, like I said, now that we have really achieved quite a lot, let's go home. We're going to do a quick stack of our inventory before we head on to the desert just to see what's out there all right so with the chests organized let's go oh, let's go make our way over to the jungle to see if we can get 
some moon glow. Oh my god, so many fallen stars have like arrived tonight. It's crazy. Now I'm not sure if is it moon glow is at the top of, of trees, is that right? That's a mahogany. Oh my. I haven't found it yet though. Oh, what's that? Is that moon glow? No. Well, I haven't found it yet. Unless moon glow is underground. Oh, hey, you were above. Uh, <laughs> didn't expect you there. Maybe we try and make our way down here. All right, here we go. Well, we found a chest. Which didn't have moon glow. So unfortunately, I think I'm just going to have to try again later and see see if we can find moon glow another time. As we look at our next uh, achievement, it's to use explosives or a hammer to smash a shadow orb or crimson heart in the evil parts of your world. So it looks like the next place we're going to be going is over to the crimson. As always, thank you very much for tuning in. I'm very happy that I was able to take on and defeat the first boss of the game. And as always, I appreciate your guidance in the YouTube comments. Is that... What's this? Is this... No, that's not it. <laughs> so if you would like to contribute to this uh, YouTube comments guiding a noob through Terraria playthrough, uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with this playthrough. And if you'd like to watch past Terraria episodes, those are up on screen right now. And of course, earlier, I wanted to thank our YouTube members for helping out the channel in a big way. I'm Keeper Cafe on my way back home, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>